Hello, uh, it's uh, my pleasure to uh, be here at this uh, Aspen Joint Policy Seminar as the European Council Organization President to discuss about influencing the national council policy agenda. What does it take? And of course, this is about nutrition. My conflicts of interest, I do collaborate with quite a few companies, which also have an interest uh, for some of them in the nutrition area. I think that uh, there are three different areas that uh, are important uh, in our uh, discussion later. It's the education of the peers, convincing the peers, and talking to the decision makers and payers, and I will go through these. First point, education of peers. Let me give you an example in medical oncology. While I recognize that, of course, it's very important to have education about nutrition for the surgeons, for the radiation oncologists, and for the patients. And uh, this is a key point that uh, we should never forget. The European Society of Medical Oncology in 2011 published a little booklet, Nutrition and Cancer, a wonderful series of articles completely forgotten somewhere. There was an effort of the European School of Oncology a few years later. This was a paper, appeared, applause, forgotten. Then later, the ESPEN guidelines on nutrition in cancer patients were published. Wonderful. Only that they didn't address those that should have been addressed because they were published in a wonderful journal that I must admit that as medical oncologist, I don't read. Then the medical oncologist uh, discussed in uh, our secondary journal, ESMA Open, about the issues. Why don't we have an acceptance of the importance of nutrition? This was three years ago. Answers to this are the conv convincing the peers, convincing the doctors that this is really important. So of course, we have the new Aspen Practical Guideline, again published in Clinical Nutrition, and an ESMO position paper that was already alluded to in this seminar. But what we need are the studies to convince the oncologists that indeed there is an importance about pay, paying attention to the nutrition status of the patient because it influences the toxicity of the treatment, the activity of the treatment, as shown here on a slide on a summary by Vicky Baracas for February uh, of this year, and the paper that uh, was uh, uh, shortly presented by Alessandro just a few minutes ago. So we have to talk to decision makers and payers. We have all the needed scientific data to do this. We have to do it together. And this is what the European Council Organization is all about. 34, now probably 36, and very soon we hope 40 member societies. If Aspen joins, and we would very much like Aspen to join European Council Organization, 20 patient advocacy groups working together in order to change the agenda, the political agenda, and the agenda of those that take the decisions in the healthcare in all the different European countries. Because as you know, health is a priority of the countries. The European Union can make recommendations but has not final decision-making power in health. Our member societies are many, representing all areas of oncology. Regrettably, ESMO is not with us. And we are proud to have a patient advocacy groups of which ECPC is a member and to listen to our patients continuously, a patient representative is member of our executive. Right now in Europe, as many of you know, there are two major initiatives going on around cancer. This is Europeans beating cancer plan. And for example, in order to influence this cancer plan, we are very proud at the ECO that we helped the cancer plan to have the decision to eliminate cancers caused by human papillomaviruses in a much broader way than what had been suggested until then. And we have the Horizons Europe EU Cancer Mission, 13 recommendations that are now being transformed into effective actions. 
Within the European Cancer Organization, we work through focus topic networks. Here are the titles of the networks and ESPEN and its expertise could enter into these networks. And through these networks, we can talk to the patients, modify and adapt and improve the European Code of Cancer Practice, which is really a document for patients to have in order to talk to the healthcare providers. Therefore, my call here is, we need to work together, patients and professionals. We need to convince everyone and together, we have to talk to decision makers in a language that they do understand. Looking forward to the discussion at the seminar. Thank you very much for inviting me and for inviting European Cancer Organization.